Hi, today we will introduce uh, Delta S uh, 218 uh, POC use analog voltage to control uh, Delta MS300 uh, series of VSD. You can see the system architecture here. And because we use analog voltage, so you can see the we connect the VO1 means the analog voltage uh, from uh, POC to the AVI means the analog voltage input uh, command. Then we connect the analog uh, signal uh, common point uh, from AG to ACM. Uh, then uh, come to the SPOC uh, feature. So you can find here uh, we use an X218 uh, uh, TX. You can find in the left side we have a uh, analog uh, input and output. On the top side we have a uh, uh, two channel, channel 1 uh, input, channel 2 uh, input. Then on the lower side you can find we have also two channel of uh, uh, analog uh, output bo one IO1 and BO2 IO2 so uh, both uh, analog input and output we have a voltage and current mode and different mode will uh, uh, support different range okay and uh, today we will use uh, analog uh, output uh, channel 1 to control BSD, so you can find we can use the uh, spatial register uh, 172. So we can change the value uh, from 0 to 2000, means it will equal to uh, 0 to 10 volts. Then we can control uh, BSD and we can do some uh, configuration uh, inside the hardware config. So you, uh, when we Enter uh, hardware config, you can find the built-in analog uh, AD and DA setting. So we can select the uh, channel here. Uh, first channel we select to uh, minus 10 to uh, 10 volt. And regarding the analog input, actually we have a three mode. So you can find uh, minus 10 to 10 and the minus 20 to uh, 20 milliamp and also for uh, 4 to 20 milliamp so here uh, if here you can see if we set the analog output mode uh, from minus to 10 uh, to 10 volts so if we set SR 172 equal to uh, 1000 that means 5 volt and if 2000 that means uh, the output is 10 volt so here uh, we use an example that if customer they want to set uh, use a 0 to 10 volt and control BSD up operation at uh, 5 to 35 hertz. So which parameters uh, should we set, should, uh, should we use? So you can see basically for the control mode, yeah, we have to select uh, uh, 0, uh, 0, 0, 20, we have to select 2 means use analog input and regarding uh, 0021 here you can set uh, depends on uh, what you want so for this uh, example we use uh, 0 and because we here we mentioned the maximum frequency is a certified so we uh, define these two parameter in certified and starting point, uh, starting frequency is 5 hertz, so we uh, define 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 9 as 5. And here is uh, this one of uh, 300 is the frequency command. Then uh, is the bias uh, 0303. So, how to calc uh, calculate this or bias? Uh, uh, value you can use this formula so we can find the value is minus uh, 16.7 uh, regarding uh, 307 uh, and 310 this one we define 1 and uh, 329 here we define 1 
and regarding this one we have to do some finding so we can get the result uh, then we go to our uh, POC parts so we select as POC or uh, X to 18 TX okay then uh, we can double click uh, how we conf config After enter uh, hardware config, we double click, then we can find the viewing analog setting. So uh, remember to uh, select a channel over here to uh, minus to 10 uh, plus 10 volts. After this, uh, we can download the setting to PLC and press download. Okay, so when this done, we press close and can close here. But uh, if we want to make sure, we can press upload uh, for double check. So you can see now we already uh, set the output to a uh, voltage mode. After that, uh, we go up to uh, create a new program Okay, after uh, done, then we download the program. Okay, then we can uh, open uh, BFD shop. So first, we have to build a connection, and you have to check the uh come port uh, from a uh, device manager so here you can find a uh, uh, zero port nine is for poc and 11 is for ESD. So we uh, select 11 and press uh, test so we can do the connection. After that, uh, let's press track. And this is the scope function so we can check the frequency command from POC. Okay, then let's go back here and we switch to online mode. Okay, so at the beginning here, we uh, enable the command and you can see now the value is zero. Okay, then we will change the command to 500. Uh, if you uh, already forgot, let's go back and check again. Uh, now we use a um, minus 10 to uh, plus 10 volt so the value of uh, I mean uh, 0 to 10 volt would be uh, 0 to 2000 okay so let's uh, move back we uh, use the uh, 500 sorry let's uh, start again we use uh, 0 then 500 then uh, 1000 and uh, 1000 uh, 1500 and uh, 2000 okay after that 
uh, uh, let's uh, okay so we fit the value and you can find this is the uh, frequency change so at the beginning it is uh, 5 and if you still remember we have a uh, change this one back to 0 then uh, 500 then uh, 1000 uh, 1500 and 2000 so you can see the frequency will change from uh, 5 then uh, roughly uh, 12.5 and 20 and 20, uh, 27.5 then uh, 35 so you can see this is uh, uh, quite linear so you can achieve uh, this control by uh, simply, uh, uh, simply setting uh, this uh, uh, parameters to uh, suitable value then we can achieve uh, what customer wants and this is uh, all for today thanks